Data Hungry Gmail is not private and neither are most alternatives. Let's cover five actually private and secure email providers that also offer a modern user-friendly experience because good luck getting your uncle or grandma to care about PGP if the UI looks like it's from 2001. The average person just wants an email service that doesn't stock every pixel in their inbox. With that in mind, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Cake Wallet, an open source cryptocurrency wallet and exchange for iOS and Android to keep your crypto safe. From a built-in, no KYC exchange, to a beautiful UI, to custom nodes, and a hell of a lot more, Cake Wallet is a one-stop shop for those of you looking to use cryptocurrencies in a safe and elegant way with no frills. Tune in later for more information on why we love Cake Wallet so much. Service 5 is Startmail, from the creators of Startpage, the privacy-oriented search engine. This service pleasantly surprised us with how modern its user interface is, along with some of its features. The $60 per year price tag is steep, but for that cost you get all of the basics, as well as 10 gigabytes of email storage, password-based email encryption, PGP support, and the secret sauce unlimited aliases. Aliasing is an extremely powerful privacy tool to keep your real email safe, and having an unlimited number of them at your disposal is a perk that really can't be overstated. Simple Login is a great aliasing tool that we've reviewed, but this service could definitely replace it if you want everything under the same roof. There are downsides, such as the lack of native mobile clients, nothing being open source, and the extra charge for custom domain support. The most notable missing feature is Startmail's complete lack of calendar support but this does seem to be on their radar. Outside that, this service is really a compelling option with overall decent usability, making it a number five option. One of the most user-friendly experiences we came across was Fastmail. Fastmail operates with four core values, all of which prioritize the privacy and security of your data. It supports native mobile apps, clean webmail, and all the features you'd expect from a modern email service such as, you know, labels, folders, filters, spam blocking, aliases, fully featured calendars, and no ads or tracking. After a 30-day free trial, pricing starts at less than $3 a month if you pay annually. The standard and professional tiers allow you to use your own domains and give you the option to use the service with your favorite third-party client. There's also a million domains to choose from when you create your account, so you really have plenty of address options at your disposal. It's not open source, but all in all, Fastmail is a highly polished service that we believe strikes a pretty good balance between privacy and usability. Coming in at number three is Tutanota, one of the most trusted providers in the privacy community. Tutanota has open source clients, including native, mobile, and desktop apps, calendar support, and some of the highest standards for data security, including zero knowledge encryption, and an option to password protect your emails to other people, even those not using Tutanota. Despite Tutanota's top-notch safety, we think the user experience is lackluster. It's just not an efficient UI to navigate, it has little annoyances like this, come on, and it's missing some functionality found in other providers on this list, like email search on the free plan being limited to four weeks into the past. The pricing structure is also a bit odd. While the free tier is generous, the feature set is limited, and the premium tier, while affordable, doesn't provide any additional storage. You have to either upgrade to the Teams tier at four euros per month, or purchase 10 gigabytes outright for an additional two euros per month. Despite these quirks, we feel Tutanota is a great option for users chasing privacy and security, but at the cost of, at least today, a less polished experience than other services on this list. Service number two is CTemplar, a completely self-funded email provider based in Iceland. Well, funded with your payments. This service packs a punch with its awesome usability and privacy features. The webmail experience is clean and intuitive, and their clients are open source, albeit less polished than the web interface. Their security is where the service really shines. They have a strict no data retention policy, meaning when you click delete, your data is actually deleted right then and there. They also utilize zero access encryption and provide extra protection against phishing and man in the middle attacks. They have a transparency report, a warrant canary, and they even accept Monero for payment, which is awesome. Their free account is also pretty generous with one gigabyte of storage and unlimited folders and filters. Unfortunately, there is no calendar support and it's worth noting that you have to email the company to receive an invite code for a free account. The pricing is on the higher end, which they explain why here, but for that price, you get custom domain support, aliases, more storage, and access to cool features like self-destructing emails, delayed delivery, catch-all domains, and a dead man timer. 
One thing to keep on your radar is that C Templar quite literally lost some people's attachments in their emails, then later lost all of some people's emails, like all of them in another incident. Not to mention, some users weren't thrilled about C Templar's response to this, or kind of lack thereof. With that said, this didn't impact everyone, but we'd like to see them come forward and reassure their users that they won't just wake up to find their emails missing. Despite all of this, we still think C Templar is extremely underrated and does an excellent job of balancing usability with privacy and security. Our top choice bam, 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 is likely no surprise that it's by far the most well-known private email service available, and that's ProtonMail. Aside from its top-notch privacy and security hitting all the right check marks, all their clients are open source, and the service offers super attractive features like email imports to make the switch easy from your previous provider. Perhaps one of the most attractive aspects for the average person is Proton's attempt at a Google-like suite, which offers cloud storage, calendar support, and a VPN. We say attempt because it's not really a great experience yet, with full support limited to the web. It's also worth mentioning that ProtonMail's mobile clients are awful. It's 2022, there's no dark mode, no F-Droid app, and the UI is outdated as f However, the webmail experience is overall great, and their new mobile apps have been in beta for almost two years, so we might see a nice mobile experience this century, one can hope. Criticisms aside, ProtonMail has a very usable free tier, with the plus option unlocking all the features you'd expect from a premium, modern email service, really just making it hard to not put as a number one service. So I recently moved everything crypto related to Cake Wallet, and it's been a phenomenal transition. The UI is great, and the fact it's all inside an app everywhere I go makes this kind of a no-brainer. The features inside Cake Wallet are also great, like their support for open aliases, custom nodes, a built-in exchange, and more. There's also Monero.com for those of you who want a Cake Wallet experience, but with a Monero-only wallet for maximum safety. We think these are both phenomenal open source apps you should try out down below, or at CakeWallet.com or Monero.com. And that was our top five list of providers that we feel strike a good balance between privacy and usability. To recap, Startmail and Fastmail offer a very user-friendly experience with average privacy. Tutanota has fantastic privacy and security at the cost of a lackluster user experience. C Templar is a great email-only solution with excellent privacy practices. And ProtonMail continues to be one of the best services to balance features, user experience, and privacy and security. Finally, we have two questions. First, what is your favorite email provider? It can be anything, just don't say Gmail. Second, what is the next top five video you want us to make? Let us know your answers to both of these in the comments below. We hope this made choosing an email provider simple and we want to shout out all of our patrons who help keep our videos free and high quality. Their names are moving on the bottom of the screen right now. Support us as well and join them on patreon.com slash See you next time.